What's up, good people, and welcome or welcome back to my channel where we bond over our favorite TV shows, trending topics, and everything in between that we care about. So today, I wanted to come to you guys with a special video on Wendy Williams' hot topic, supervising producer Norman, who is slowly starting to come out of his shell and come out of the shadows of Wendy Williams on the heels of her show ending and starting to carve out his own path in this industry. And so I'm ecstatic about it for many, many reasons. And I'll share a couple as we work our way through this video. But first, let's see what Norman had to say on the very last day of the Wendy Williams show as he exited the studio. Bittersweet. I'm so sad, but also so happy to be moving on to Sherry. But Wendy was the best. I will miss her so much. I'm like, I'm gonna really miss working with her. Have you spoken to her recently? Um, no, I actually haven't. I haven't spoken to her, but uh, I'm sure she's doing well. Right. Yeah. Right. Quick question: uh -huh. Is Wendy invited to this after party? Because there's an after party. <laughs> Was she, invite, was she invited to actually come I actually today? don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea who's going to be there. Oh, nice. I just okay. know I'm going to be there and I'm going to be tipped. <laughs> That's all I know. I know that. One more question. When can we see Chevy? It's going to be live, right? Uh, yeah, it'll be live. September 5th something. Mid September. <laughs> no, mid September. 15th. I think so. Is that, is that news? Am I making news? Am I getting in trouble? Are you getting me fired right now? Are you guys going to keep Hot Topics? Because Hot Topics has now been, or is that something that like Wendy owns? Or no, I actually don't know what's going to happen yet, but we'll see. We have like the whole summer to figure it out. I love it. But, yeah. Thank you. Oh, 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 TMZ. What's up, Harvey? Thank you. <laughs> uh, that was cool. Uh, that was cool. But as we can see, Norman, I was glad that he actually gave a little bit of an interview because I, I think that might have been like one of the first times he was really that open in front of the media and so it was really cool to see that but what was funny is I want you guys to see when Suzanne came out and <laughs> drastic difference Said, quick question she's like nope <laughs> she's like i want no parts of it <laughs> but anyway i'm glad that norman did want to have some parts of him and was gracious enough to answer some of tmz's questions <laughs> while you know not saying too much at the same time but i wanted to highlight norman because of the fact that i feel like now is the time like the time is right it is ripe for him to step out of the shadows and become his own brand, become his own person. And we know that he was synonymous with Hot Topics and the Wendy Williams show, and he played a major role in that. Like, Wendy delivered it, but he was, you know, supervising producer, putting that all together with their team. And so what I know from a personal level, and the cat is out the bag to a degree, I think some people know, Norman is my first cousin. And so we're related. And I know that Norman has been all about the hot topics since we were kids. And like for real, for real, he would read the TV guide from the front to the back for all through his adolescence and teen years. And he was the person we went to for pop culture, trending topics and all of that stuff back in the day. Before any of those terms existed, he was my Hot Topics producer. <laughs> So I know what he has in him and he's a great writer as, as well. He used to write us stories as a kid where um, I can't even remember the name of it now. I should text, text one of our cousins, but he would write these stories. It was almost like if any of you watched Degrassi High and all of those uh, Saved by the Bell kind of shows, he literally created his own series. It was two separate ones, I remember. And we loved him. And so he would write him, he would write a new episode every week. And then we would, when we would come over, go over his house, 
<laughs> we would then just read it. And they were on notebook paper. Like, this is before computers and e email. We wasn't emailing the stories and all of that back then. But I know how talented he is. And so I have had the conversation with him. And for me, what became the green light that I could finally <laughs> talk about someone, <laughs> like one of my favorite people, and truly promote him was the fact that recently Norman Baker... It's hard for me because we call him something else. But <laughs> So it's always hard for me to remember to call him that name. And so when I saw that Norman, he was actually doing interviews now and talking about himself, I'm like, the time is right. And so for me, what was my motivation to say, hey, <laughs> I can finally have the green light to talk about it. And I told Norman, I'm now going to talk about this, was the fact that he was recently on Carlos King's podcast called Reality with the King. I loved it because of the fact it was the first time I was seeing Norman actually talk about himself and give all of you some insight into who he is and his personality. So I really love that in listening to the interview, I was able to see bits of his personality, the whole sum of his personality, which on Wendy, I know, you know, when a camera pans to him, he would have his little twerks and things back and forth with Wendy. But me knowing him, I knew that was not the sum total of his personality. And so this interview got to show a little bit of that. It's this funny, hilarious, gorgeous, gay black man who I think needs his own show. I'm talking about none other than Wendy Williams co-host, Norman Baker. I want to give you your flowers now. Aw, thank you. So tell us, how did it happen in terms of your trajectory in getting to produce one of the most iconic daytime television talk shows in the world? I was born in Chicago, and um, I got off the bus, you know, with the, the stick and the pillowcase. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I started out as a receptionist. I just... I don't know anybody in the business, so I kind of just sent out, I, I got a Hollywood reporter and the back of it, they had like production companies and addresses and fax numbers. So I just blindly sent my resume to like everybody. And I ended up getting a job as a receptionist on the Ananda Lewis show. And I got to know people. And one thing led to another. I ended up at VH1 and worked at Best Week Ever for years. And I learned a lot about pop culture. Well, I was always like a pop culture nerd, but I learned about, you know, the business there. And I used some of that pop culture knowledge to come over to the Wendy show. And so the interview goes on and he tells a lot about his evolution from, you know, growing up to ending up in the industry and how he got to the place of being on the Wendy Williams show and not only being on the Wendy Williams show, but ending up out front and center with her. And so it was very interesting and, and entertaining. And even me, for me, even knowing, <laughs> I knew the bulk of it, but some of the finer details, like knowing of his first job, I knew of those things, but I didn't always know how he got them. And hearing some of his stories of how he hustled, I'm like, <laughs> we are relatives for real. <laughs> like we're cut from the same cloth because <laughs> he's a hustler. And so just hearing some of that was interesting for me, even knowing him. And so I definitely highly recommend you guys listen to that podcast, that, that segment of his podcast, for sure, that episode. And so really what I'm hoping comes out of this, and I think Norman is finally getting to the place where he's the shell is cracking. <laughs> like he's coming out of his shells and there's like little cracks in it and he's, he's ready to bust through. And I'm, <laughs> I got a hammer and I'm hitting, I'm hitting it on the side. I'm trying to make him crack this thing all the way open because I know the potential of my, co my cousin. I know his gifts. I know them for a fact and he's had it in him. And sometimes it's hard for us to see what is, it's, it's hard for us to sometimes see what others see in us, the gifts, the talents, and what we have to offer the world. I've been on the receiving end of that. It's taken many of you to help get me to the place. And I still struggle with it. I ain't, <laughs> every day ain't easy. <laughs> I still struggle with it from time to time, feeling worthy of people caring what I have to say and all that, that of this that I do. And, and I know my cousin has some of the same issues. We've talked about it. And so what I'm hoping that comes out of this, and because of his talent and notoriety, I know that this is the time for him to step out and do a podcast or a YouTube channel. And knowing that he is open to those things, but he has, you know, some internal things to overcome to feel comfortable and even feel 
worthy and no feel like he has something to say and all of those things, which he does. That's it's not that it's not there. He has to realize it, but he also has to understand and realize that there are tens of or hundreds of thousands of us, if not millions, there's millions, millions of us who are ready to hear it from him and who are ready to see it come from him. And so what I would love to see is you guys flood the comments below, letting Norman know that you would be interested in seeing his perspective on hot topics, trending topics, pop culture, whatever he wants to offer on whether it's a podcast or YouTube or a combination of both. Definitely let him know in the comments below because I'm gonna make sure he sees them. And also on his Instagram, which, which I have up there, go over there. If you're on Instagram, go follow him, but also hit him up. Put some comments over there and let him know, hey, we're waiting on you and we want to see you on your own outside of the shadows of other people's projects and platforms and all of that because the truth is he is his own brand at this point. And in my opinion, it's been God ordained because he didn't plan to be on TV ever. He's always been more of the behind the scenes person, which I was as well. Like all the things that I've done in the past, he and I have done documentaries together and other little, you know, plays and stuff as kids. Like, this, this stuff, <laughs> this ain't just pop up out of the blue <laughs> for either of us. It's been years. Like they say, uh, we put in our 10,000 hours. We have put in our 10,000 hours. I'm putting in my 10,000 on this level <laughs> with YouTube now. But leading up to this, those 10,000 hours have already been put in. And so basically, I don't have a ton of <laughs> to add outside of um, definitely check out the Carlos King interview with him raindrops i can literally talk to norman all day long i feel like he and i were separated at first that's how much he and i have in common i'm so proud of norman and he's so humble he's so sweet and i really hope norman knows the legacy he's leaving because it is my fundamental belief that little gay black boys are sitting at home watching norman and aspiring to be him. And the fact that we were able to have this dialogue, I really hope that the flowers I gave him sprouts to be bigger than his imagination can handle. So with that, I wanted to really just do this video to sh <laughs> nepotism. I'm shouting out my cousin because <laughs> I want my cousin to grow. <laughs> well, he's growing, but I want my cousin to go ahead and step out into what I know is out there for him. If I can make this happen <laughs> from zero, <laughs> like nobody knew who the hell I was. Millions of people still don't know who the hell I am, but millions will. But I just wanted to do this to hopefully garner some of you to reach out, to comment below and, and really have a place for him to come in our comment section and really be able to see that, hey, we're waiting on you. People do want to see and hear what you have to say. And there are already people who support, follow, and adore him. And so if you're already a fan of Norman, definitely comment below and definitely go over to his Instagram page and, you know, shout him out. So with that, just a little nepotism, because that's what you do when you got a little platform, you can do a little something. And if you have made it to this point in the video, please hit that like button below to help me grow even more and catch up to my cousin. And if you are new to this channel, or returning and you have not subscribed as of yet, this will be a great time for you to hit that subscribe button below and join the subscriber family to help us grow. And lastly, don't forget about our VIP community that you can join to communicate with me one-on-one, -on -one, get a little bit of behind the scenes of what's happening with this channel and some personal things as well. And in order to be a part of the VIP community, all you have to do is text HeyVail to the number on your screen. And that makes you a VIP community member. So with that, until next time, until I upload the next video, make sure to take care and be blessed. Peace. Hey, popping like I'm post to. Watch out for the people that ain't close to. Speak a little something you could toast to. I ain't trying to hear about what you won't do. Moving like I'm into. Hit the ground. You been through like hold up hold up say what's the hold up i got the pack who got the roll up i'm trying to pull up it seems like every time i show up it gotta go up see the drip they see the glow up oh now they know us see it's funny how my pockets out of shape but i fit for the
with a flex. Clear the phone call, hit my chick with a text. Probably through the bird with my drip from the jacks. Save a couple hundred by your bitch with the rest. I 